good morning interwebs. <laughs> I had a very productive day overall. Um, the thing that I seemed to have lacking all day was the vlog. You know, like I'm just picking you up now, but I've thought about you today. I didn't pick up my camera a bunch because I spent most of my day, other than listening to cat sneezes, which actually have been kind of less today. Well, maybe I just haven't been around her as much. But I spent a lot of my day sewing upstairs and I had my music going and all of that music is obviously copyrighted so I would have had to like turn it off to pick up the camera a little bit of thing and I'm lazy though not completely lazy but I was using all the not lazy parts of me to get things done so one of the interesting things today was while I was listening to music on my phone I was listening to music of my youth and then I was thinking about like how there are certain, like, there's certain music that I kind of associate with certain times of year. Like, there's definitely, like, all the time music. And then when the weather starts getting nice, there's music that, like, I really enjoy particularly. Or when I'm doing certain kinds of work or projects, I enjoy certain kinds of music more than others. Like, today, I was enjoying music that I knew all the words to and I could sing along with. So I was listening to Hanson, which is kind of a funny band that I got into because... They're the people that sing Mbop, in case you don't know who Hanson is, um, which is a song from, like, forever ago at this point. But my sister, my oldest sister, actually got me the Hanson CD as a joke because she had heard in the L.A. area there's a radio show called Mark and Brian, and they had been talking about Hanson and the song Mbop, and she thought it was silly, and so she bought the CD for me as a joke, and... I enjoyed it and it was one of those weird things because it wasn't like a cool thing to like really in my circles um and so I enjoyed it quietly till I was in like college and then I enjoyed it openly and now I have all their CDs and I greatly enjoy them and yeah because now I'm a grown-up and you don't have to pretend to be cool anymore <laughs> and then I also was listening to Spice Girls yeah another um <laughs> I guess non guilty guilty pleasure um and that I ended up with kind of strangely I don't know that I would have gone out and bought Spice Girls to begin with but my mom for some reason I think that's how I think I came across the first CD I feel like she bought me Spice and then I enjoyed it and in fact I associate the song from that CD, Two Becomes One was like the couple skate song at the roller rink or like the slow dance song and a bunch of these dances. So it usually I associate it with like guys I like not liking me. <laughs> but otherwise, I generally like the Spice Girls. And then by the time Spice World came out, I was like all on board with the Spice Girls. I remember going to see Spice World. I remember particularly that I went to a theater that, like we never went to because it was only released in like limited release probably because Spice World was a terrible terrible movie and like hardly played on any screen certainly around where I was living so I do remember going to see Spice World and um I liked the CD. I actually gave the CD as several presents to people in middle school who I also knew liked it but were too ashamed to buy a Spice Girls CD. But there's nothing wrong with liking the Spice Girls. I enjoy them. What else did I listen to today? Oh, I was listening to Black Eyed Peas. That's like college to me. I was listening to Black Eyed Peas. And uh, the ringers on my phone actually are Black Eyed Peas songs because they're good for like... They're uh... They're lyrical, but they're still, like, ringy sounding, so that's how that goes. And, um, what else did I look? I think that may have been about it. I listened to some Ashley Simpson, which I kind of listened to that, like, in college. But they were just, like, very, like, I don't know, summery music, it felt like. Bright, cheerful, things I could sing along to. And I was able to, I moved some things around in the craft room so I could put down the window. And so, because Steve had the windows open all over the house today because it was so warm. I even had to turn the fan on in the craft room because it got hot in there while I was sewing. Though that room always kind of gets hot. Or really cold. It does not hold temperature very well. So, um, yeah, I was in there with the windows down, the fan on, doing my productive work and listening to music. And it was a good day. I felt happy, which is also a good thing. We like that feeling. Um... So yeah, it was it was an enjoyable afternoon and a good experience. And 
I got a lot done. So are there any bands that were like semi guilty pleasures, but that you still enjoy now? Like not guilty pleasures. And like, I think there's some things that are just generally kind of like weird or stupid that you feel dumb telling other people you like, but I think there's other things where they're just not necessarily like parts of the major culture, but they become part of your culture. If there are, you want to tell me, you can let me know in the comments because I would be interested. I also was thinking a bunch while I was listening to music about how I'm, based on analytics, I am of a different generation than many, many of you. Uh, and so even with that, I listened to and continue to listen to different things than a lot of the people that I knew that are my age. So there's a good chance that I'm listening to different things than you are. Um... And, you know, half the time what I'm listening to is whatever my kids want to listen to. So, but mostly I actually usually listen to podcasts. But sometimes you're just in the mood for some tunes. That's just how it goes. It's usually a good sign for me. If I want to listen to music as opposed to listening to people's voices yammering at me, usually means I'm in a pretty good mood. So that's usually a good tell. And sometimes if I'm trying to kickstart myself to be in a good mood, I will turn on music like with intention in the hopes that, you know, the whole fake it till you make it thing will kick in. So I sewed today. I also um, wrote a pattern today for a fish and I made up a sample, which you may have seen on Instagram. And then tomorrow in the morning, I'm going to film a speedy stitches of that pattern and that pattern is going up on the blog. So that's happening. And we watched Moana tonight and we watched The Amazing Race today and we hung out. I watched some Kimmy Schmidt with Steve. Him and I think that if it doesn't get better after the next episode, we're done with the show. Um, yeah. Just kind of, you know, we had a day off, basically. I slept... I guess I slept, I slept in a little, but not a huge amount. I did not take a nap today. Well, I kind of fell asleep during Moana. But that's just what happens when I watch movies. Like, for whatever reason, when I watch, especially like kids movies something about the pacing of the movies there's a point in them where I always fall asleep so I did that and then I spent my evening after everybody went to sleep I was working on that shawl some more and I actually have finished up all of the yarn that I have um I was trying to use up the rest of the premier yarn sweet rolls I had in the spearmint color um after I finished that blanket I was making I I had used an extra, like a ball and a half, and I didn't like the way the edging was, so I pulled it all out. And so I had that, and then I had one more cake. So I think I used like two, two cakes for sure, maybe two and a half to make the shawl. Well, I'm not done with it yet, so I'm trying to decide what color I want to put on the edging. I think I might just put some gray um, if I have enough. Because basically I want to just pick one color to do the edging in. And I need to make sure that I have enough because it's um, a circular shawl. So there's a lot of, you know, yardage to that edging. So basically it's a giant round blanket that you could also wear as a shawl. That's how it's kind of, that's how I'm looking at it. And while I've been working on it, it has been sitting on my lap. And it has been quite pleasant. So... Now I'm going through one of those little phases of like, I'm not ready to go to bed yet. And I don't want to sew because I don't want to wake everybody up. And I'm trying to decide what project to work on. And I'm kind of at a loss as to what, what I should be doing. Because I kind of want to start something new. But I recognize that I maybe should finish something first. So I was considering finishing my son's hat. And that might be what I go with. So... Anyways, this was just to say that I had a day where I did a lot, a lot of things and I didn't get the vlog up from yesterday's stuff till like 1130 because I forgot I hadn't loaded it. Like I thought that I had edited it and loaded it early in the day and then we're sitting here watching Moana and I went, oh, that was yesterday's. <laughs> I have not done today's and then I just didn't have access to do it till then. So that's the story. Anyways, I'm going to go and find something to do for a little bit here, finish my tea. We'll see you all tomorrow. Nighty night.